Hey, how's it going? My name is Spy and welcome to more Scrap Mechanic. Now, they recently updated the game uh, a week ago, around there, and they added these tote bot heads, and what they do is they play noises when you click on them with buttons or initiate them with sensors. Pretty creepy. I think they're going to be making those part of the survival, maybe part of the harvesting robots. I'm not quite sure. I haven't really been following that. But anyways, essentially what you could do with these is you can make music with them and you can kind of make funny creations. Over here I got uh, Mr. Sheepy. Hopefully he activates. There we go. So essentially this guy just walks around really creepily. He's like a crippled sheep. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a zombie sheep. There we go. We'll turn him off. Oh no, he turned back on. There you go. It just lays on his stomach. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see over here, essentially what I did is I built a note train. Kind of. It's not really on a rail. It's on this guide right here. And essentially what it is, is a really rough version and simplified version of Mario. So keep a note that I had to follow most of this by my ear because a lot of the stuff I was following weren't actually for pianos and a lot of it wasn't complete so I had to go with ear and a lot of other references. So here we go. I don't know how well this is going to work but we're going to try it out. Hopefully it's fast enough. Hopefully it's not too fast. <laughs> and the sensors say, uh, seem to glitch out a lot. Hopefully they fix that out because some of them don't initiate once they're activated. Here we go. So there we go. It's kind of slow once it hits about middle because uh, this design is very inefficient. I should have built it on a rail type system. Oh, look at that. Almost balanced. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Anyways, I should have built this on a rail system. I could speed it up, but it doesn't work the same because one of these engines will make the wheels stop or go faster due to friction. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> so essentially, we could just walk it, and it'll be a good speed. That's a little fast, but one of the reasons I don't like this design is because we actually have to go to this block and plop it down right there, and then it'll be reset. Now it's reset. But I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show you guys how this works essentially, and we're gonna slow it down a bit. There we go. As you can see, once the sensors hit this block here. It will initiate the sensor and cause the tote bot's head to uh, initiate. And once these little fins on the side of this cart hits this sensor here, Mario will jump up and hit the block. Now I was going to make this block initiate with a sensor and cause the sound to go off, but I couldn't figure out how to do that properly because the sensors tend to um, not sense the same object it's connected to, and Mario is essentially the same object as that block because it's connected to the same type of uh, building, I guess. Creation. So there we go, guys. That's essentially it for this episode. I was just showcasing what you can do with the tote bot's heads. 
hopefully they add a lot more variation in heads that you can fool around with more music. I've seen a guy who made the The Druid Sandstorm song already. He used the rail system. I was going to do something similar, but I couldn't figure out how to do it properly. I'll have to fiddle with it a little more. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know in the comments. If you have suggestions for something for me to build, let me know. And I will uh, try to get to it. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next episode. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.